Morning, everybody. It's Rhonda. And today we are going to take a look at these 90s vintage tattoo illustration style t-shirts that are super popular right now. I'm just going to look at a couple of these here. We have the cats. This one's in 20 carts. There's another one in 20 plus carts with different cats in the like vintage illustration style. And yet another one with cats. And this one's in nine cart. And, you know, these styles with the random placement of different animals. Uh, I just happened to have found three with cats on them this morning, but you can find them with sea life, all kinds of different animals that these are all very, very popular. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take this look, this vintage 90s illustration look style, and we are going to blend that with our book lovers, with our just one more chapter. Okay, and we're going to make a completely new design like this, you know, in this style, but for the book people, for the readers, for the just one more chapter people. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to Kittle and I'm using Kittle today because one, I like the smart boards where I can just give it a, one prompt and then just build off of that for different images. Two, they are running the January special right now where you're getting free credits every day to work with. So I am in Kittle this morning. Here's my artboard and I do have it a different color just so I can uh, see when I create my images whether the background has removed nicely or not. So for now, I'm going to take the second mock artboard and I am going to make it white. And I have a simple prompt here, a woodcut style illustration of a cute hedgehog reading a book, plain white background. And I think woodcut, I think I want to change that to lino cut just because we'll see what happens. And I'm going to use Sea Dream 4. So we'll zoom in a little bit and my artboards are already set up at 5,000 by 5,300 DPI, which is the size I typically make all of my designs because that means it's suitable for t-shirts. And if it's large enough for a t-shirt or something like that, and people can always size it down if they want it for something smaller. So anyway, I'm going to just run this prompt quick. Like I said, it's a very, very basic prompt. We didn't need anything crazy detailed for what we're doing here. We just want these simple, I wanted lino cut instead of just the, the tattoo style drawing. I wanted to make it a little different yet similar. So let's give this a second. Alrighty, and here are my two images. And this is great because I wanted these, like I said, I wanted them pretty simple. I didn't want them to be anything crazy detailed. I really like this little guy, but I like this little guy too. I think I am going to go with this one. So I'm going to get rid of this image and I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to put this over here and I'm going to upscale it right away. I hope it says it's too large. Okay, I'm not upscaling it. It's already big. All right, so I'm going to pop that in here on this artboard, this white artboard, and I'm just going to make it a little bigger. And what we're going to do now is we are just going to create several more of these for different animals reading books. All right, so let's start with this one. And I think we are gonna, yeah, let's just use GPT 1.5 for the smart board. And let's say change the hedgehog to a cat. And let's this one, change the hedgehog to a raccoon. And we'll make a few more artboards because we are going to end up needing about nine of these all together. So let's go here. And we have raccoon. So change the hedgehog to a owl. And I do need to zoom in a little so I can see my... Okay, we did owl, raccoon. Change the hedgehog to a opossum. And you can pick any animals you want. You could do, you could have done a hedgehog in nine different positions. You know, it doesn't really matter, but I'm not feeling some of these. You know, I liked that kind of plane, but I don't know. Yeah, I guess these are still okay. And let's do change the hedgehog to squirrel. No, a frog. 
frogs are popular. Okay, change the hedgehog to a goose. And let's see how many we have here now. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're going to need probably two more. Change the hedgehog to a... Let's do llama and change the hedgehog to a pig. So we're just doing, you know, random animals. And let's move some of these so I can make this bigger and we can still see all the images. So let me move that up there. And now let's zoom in. Okay, so you see what we have so far. I'm not a fan of this owl. So I'm going to do this again. He seemed just to be more um, dark instead of the outline that most of the others are. All righty, so here we have everybody. They are all done, and they don't look bad. The owl looks a little better this time. I like him a little more. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert each of these to images now so that we can work with it to image. And I'm just going to move them off to the side here for a minute. Pop them in over there. I already did the cat. See? There, there. And he already is an image. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All righty. So we have all of those. So now I'm just going to get rid of these smart boards because I don't need them anymore. I'm going to bring that over and I'm going to get rid of this artboard because we only need the one. And I'm just going to line these guys up right here for now because I'm going to remove the background on them. And then we're going to line them up on our artboard. So I'm going to select all of these, click remove background. So it's going to remove the background from all of them at one time. I'm already not happy with this. All right, what I'm going to do is vectorize all of these so that there is no white in them at all, because that's all we want. We just want the black lines, you know, we want to keep it simple. We don't want any shading. We don't want any white. So now they are all vectors and there is nothing but black lines. So that's perfect. Okay. And now we have all of our designs here on our artboard and I'm just going to arrange them into like grid. Right. And I'm going to decide if I want to move any of these guys around, which yeah, I think I'm going to move like that. And I'm pretty happy with that. I want to, I'm going to make these just a little bit smaller. And now I can change my artboard back to white to work on it. All righty. And now we will. All right. So now that we have these little guys on here, I might want to look over here for some little elements, maybe stars. I can add a few little extras to the design now, a few scattered stars, maybe something I like, maybe something like this. Let me just move them around. And I don't even need all of these. So this is a vector here as well. So if I double click on that, I can remove the ones, the parts that I don't really want. So like if I just want that star, see, if I just want that single star, now I can move that around. I can resize it. I can rotate it. I can do so much with this now. Just going to duplicate it and move it around, resize, just put a bunch of them wherever. And I will edit them once I have them moved around to where I want them. Okay, that's good there. And let me just search for single star, see what we get. All right, how about some of these? We don't need many, but you know, might want a couple here and there. And let's look, let's see if there's anything else in here we want. Maybe just some kind of starish blobs, not necessarily what I would call, you know, a star star, but they are cute and we can 
make them smaller and we can duplicate them and put them in a little arrangement there, three of them together, select all three of those and group them. So now that's one piece that I can move around and put wherever I want to and I can make things different wherever I want it. I can make this smaller, put it here. I can take a couple more of these and move them wherever I want it. And you're just, you know, adding a little something, you know, I might have too many here and that's okay. I'll remove them. If I don't like what I see when I'm done here, this is, you know, completely optional too. You don't have to do any of this. You could just make it just the animals. You don't have to have, you know, all the extra little elements in it like I did. Let's make this one smaller. Alrighty. So I'm just going to let it go just like this. And I'm going to move this up a little. I'm going to group these all together now. I'm going to merge them into one design. And now I'm going to make it a little bigger. Not like that. Move it up. Center it. And now I'm just going to get some text here. I'm going to add our text and make it a little bigger. Move it down here. And I just want it to say just one more chapter. Stretch that out. Just like that. And then let's look for a new font for it. Let's do something. Say book. Let's look for something that might be a little bookish. But at the same time, I think I want to make this uh, some distressed. I want to distress it. So let's do Jack Wright. Let's bring this in real close because I want to make the font bigger. And we will center that just like that. So that looks pretty good. And now let's distress this. Let's grunge it up a little. Now let's put this on top. And let's go with alpha mask. Mask the texture, but I'm not, I'm not liking that one. I'm not feeling that one. Just not feeling that grunge. I'm not feeling that one. Let's release that one. Get rid of it. Let's see what we've got going on here. How about let's look for some of these. I don't want it that grungy, you know. Let's look down here under alpha mask. That one I think we're going to go with and mask the texture. That one makes some of them a little grungy, some of them not so much. But I think, yeah, I think I like the way this looks just like this. So what we've done is we took that design with, you know, the random cats placed all over the shirt, the vintage 90 illustration style, and we combined it with book lovers, you know, just one more chapter reading with a variety of different animals. So this is, you know, a great design here now, you know, I mean, I, I would sit here and play with it a little bit more for these stars and elements, but overall this is done. So I'm going to group all this together as a single design. And now what we could do, all right, let me zoom out. Let me close this off. Now what we could do, these are, uh, this is an SVG. This is a vector. So we could, let's take our background here. Let's make our background black. And we can now take our image and we can make that white. So we can sell this now as, you know, a white SVG, a black SVG, or we can just save them as PNGs in different colors. We could make a, a few different color options here. We could change this from not the background, the design. We could make this, you know, like a blue, which is pretty popular as well, like a vintage antique blue. And that looks good on, you know, darker 
t-shirts. Now I would change that color a little bit more, lean into more like the gray, blue perhaps, but you can offer this in a variety of colors for different color t-shirts, whatever you want to do. But you have taken, you know, something that we know sells, the the vintage 90s style uh, illustrations with random animals all over the shirt and combined it with another niche that we know sells really well, the uh, book club or reading club, just one more chapter, book lover people. So we've combined those two together and made something, you know, completely new that has the potential to be a very, very good seller. So, you know, and you could use all one animal. You could do raccoon in nine different poses. You could do cats in nine different poses. You could do the geese in nine different poses. It's completely up to you. Or you could keep the random animals like I did, or, uh, you know, go with a woodland animals theme where I mixed you know, all different types of animals together. I mixed woodland with barnyard and things like that. So you can do, there's a lot of different directions you can take this design. All right. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.